y'all, it is Crafty Hope here with another earring tutorial in my chain link earring series. This is part three, and in this one, I'm going to be hanging beads inside and below that elongated chain link. So it involves a couple of the techniques we used in the last video, and we're going to use an elongated link of chain, a large bead, a couple of small beads, couple of head pins, an ear wire, and a couple of jump rings. So we're going to start this by sliding your larger bead onto your head pin and forming a wrapped loop. Now I have a tutorial on how to form a wrapped loop, but you use your round nose pliers and make a bend just above the bead on your head pin, leaving a little bit of space. Then you make a loop around your round nose pliers, and then I open that up a little and slide it onto my chain link. Once it's onto the chain link, I use my chain nose pliers to close that little opening and then wrap the tail around the stem of the head pin. And then once it's completely wrapped, and for me it usually takes about three wraps, just based on the way I work. And once it's wrapped, I will trim that tail off and tuck the little bit that is left on there. And that completes my wrap loop. Once I get that done, I'm going to move over to the smaller beads and make a chain with them using that single head pin. Now, this is a fun little technique because you just need the one head pin. You see me going, what do I do? I was being super funny there. Yeah, yeah, super funny. Um, super dorky is more like it. But I'm going to slide the first of those small beads on there, and we're going to make a simple loop instead of a wrap loop. So I bend that just above the bead, not leaving any space. And then I trim it down, leaving just enough of a tail to use my round nose pliers to make a loop. And then that's it to make a simple loop. I do have a tutorial on that as well. Um, I'll put a link to that also up here in the top. Now with that little bit of excess that I have that I trimmed off, I'm going to make another little loop and then bend it upward a little bit. And that basically makes an eye pin. And that way we have less waste. And I love less, less, oh, less waste, not West lace. <laughs> um, but we're going to do the same thing. Once we get it on that handmade eye pin, um, we're going to bend it and trim it and then make a loop. And that turns the second bead instead of a into a charm into a connector because it's got loops on either end. So I've got those on there. I'm going to take a little bit of time to make sure my loops are closed and my um, and that they're also straight on the on the beads. And then from there, I'm going to use my chain nose pliers to open the loop above the one that's on a head pin and connect it to that one with both of the loops on it. And that makes just a short length of beaded chain, kind of like a rosary chain. But to open it, make sure you open it like you would a jump ring by twisting. And I'm going to slide that on and close it. And then I'm going to take my larger jump ring here in just a second. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, and, and I can't, I don't know how big that jump ring is. It's probably seven to eight millimeters. Um, but I'm twisting that open. I'm going to slide it onto the upper portion of my elongated chain, slide on my little length of beaded chain, and then use my, that's probably about a three millimeter jump ring on there. And then I'm gonna twist that jump ring, that larger jump ring closed. From there, I'm going to add my ear wire by twisting open the loop on it and connecting it to that smaller jump ring. Now I'm using two jump rings to make sure that the earrings face the direction that I want them to face. I've got, I'm a stickler for them facing the same way your ears face. And so that's a personal choice there. Um, if you would have liked to just had the jump one jump ring, that works fine too. But just keep that in mind when you're assembling all your stuff. And with that, y'all, these earrings are done. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you have any questions, just let me know below in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Keep on crafting on, y'all. Bye.